in this video we will discuss the problem move all zeros to the front of the linked list right so the problem says that you will be given a linked list and the task is to move all the zeros to the front of the linked list the order of all the non zero elements should remain the same after arrangement right so let's say if i have been given a linked list like this if i have been given 1 then let's say 0 then let's say 2 let's say 0 let's say 0 and let's say 3 right so what i should do is uh, all the zeros should come in the beginning right because the problem says that what you have to do is you have to move all zeros to the front of the linked list right so you move all the zeros to the front like this right and then what you do is you have this one you have this two and you have this three right so you put all these like this right so one of the brute force uh, ways to do this particular thing could be that what you do is you store all the zeros right you basically do what you basically store all the zeros in the you take a data structure such that that data structure helps you to store all the zeros in the beginning and all the non zero elements in the end right so like you can what you can do is you should have a data structure that allows you to push to insert zeros at the beginning and to insert uh, the non zero elements at the back like 1 then 2 and then 3 right and once this data structure is made right so you can see that once this kind of a data structure is made so i'll try to make it for you once again stimulating this right so if you will see this part right let's say this is the data structure that we have so what we'll have is first of all uh, we have a one right so we'll insert it at the back right and then what we have we have a zero so we'll insert it in the front then we have a two so we'll insert it at the back we have a zero so we'll insert it at the front we have a zero so we'll insert it at the front then we have a three so we will insert it at the back right so you if you will try to observe this part so you will be able to see that this is how the link layer this is how the data structure dq kind of data structure is looking like and and what happens after this you can easily make a linked list out of this right you can easily declare a node and then you whatever this uh, particular dq is having one by one you can store all of it in a linked list right you can store it like the zero then zero then zero and then one and then two and then three this is one of the ways to do it but in this case you are taking extra space right so can we do it with uh, by using the linked list concept only yes we can do that right so let's suppose that we had uh, this kind of a linked list so let's say one then zero then let's say two and let's say zero and let's say 3 right so what i want is my task is to get all the zeros at the beginning right so i want this part so definitely i can uh, what i can say is that i would require a previous variable as well as a current variable right and now you will uh, say that which where, where should they be standing right so i will stand i will ask my previous to start at the head and i'll ask my current to start at the heads next right so that i can start so if i will uh, the answer will depend on the current the concept will depend on the current that if the current if the current node is data is equal to 0 if the current node data is equal to 0 in that case i have to shift it at the beginning okay in that case i have to do what i have to shift it in the starting right i have to shift all the nodes at the starting like let's suppose this this zero gets here right and then this kind of thing then two then what i want is i have a zero so i should transfer this kind of zero to here at the starting right so whichever new zero i encounter i should uh, insert it at the beginning of the linked list right so that's going to be the target basically so what i can do is i can simply say that my current and the previous are standing right so if it happens if it happens that the current data if it happens that the current data is going to be equal to zero right so that means that for that particular node what i require is i require to uh, uh, shift this zeros to the beginning of the linked list right so what i can say is one thing that i can say is that this is the previous node right this is the previous node and what is the next at the current node right i i want two things right i want to shift i want two things first of all i want to shift zero at the beginning right zero at the beginning that is one, one thing that i want and the second thing that i want is i want uh, like i want to connect my previous with the current next right because if if the current node is zero right so i with irrespective of the fact that current next node is zero or not i don't care but what i want is i want this uh, previous next i want this one to point this this to right i want this thing because i want this zero to be at the starting and then i want this one to point to this two right so that's what i want i want my previous node i want my previous node this node to point to the current next node right this is something that i want so first of all this thing i will want right so possibly i'll uh, one thing that i'll for sure right is that uh, previous node uh, previous nodes next right previous nodes next should point to the current next right that is one thing that i will write so previous next next should point to nothing but the current next right so this is one thing after this part is done right after this part is done so what is the next thing that i require 
uh, what is the current node, right? Uh, I know that this part is done, right? This part is done. Now what I want is this is the current node, right? This is the current node. And suppose that I have a head of the linked list, right? Suppose that there was a zero previous hand or whatever. So if I if I want if I want my uh, this particular node, right? If I want this particular node to point to what it I want it to point to the head of the linked list, right? So let's suppose that I had some head of the linked list. Let's let's say the linked list was something like this. Let's say this kind of right. Right, and then what I want is I want this previous, uh, I want this previous to connect to the current. But let's say this is the head, so I want this zero. I uh, like uh, current next, right? This is three is current next. So I want this zero. I want this zero. That is the current variable. I want it to point to this, right? I want it. It's next to point to the head, right? I want my current next. I want my current next to point to the head, right? In this way, what this link list would look like? It would look like this zero. Then pointing to one, then two, and then three. Right. This is how it's gonna look like. So basically, this is the concept that my current snake should point to the head. Okay. So that my uh, so that what happens when my current snake points to the head. Right. When my current snake points to the head. In that case, what happens? My current becomes my head. Right. You can see this part. You will be able to observe. Right. When when zero one two three this link list changes to this. Like when the current points to the head. Current snake point to the head. Then the current node comes at the beginning. Right. And I should have, I should uh, initialize this as the new head, right? This is what I should do. So these are the two things that I have to do. First of all, I have to connect connect the previous next to the current next, and after that, uh, after I'm done with that part, so I will mark the current next to the head, right? And I will update my head to the current, right? So this is something that I am gonna do. That I will mark uh, the current next. Okay, I'll say that okay, the current next is equal to nothing but the head head node. Right, because it's the new. Uh, it's it should be pointing to this part, right? It should be pointing to the head. Current snake should point to the head definitely. And the now since this uh, zero is pointing to this one, right? So that means the current and the head, uh, like current, this new current is the this particular current is the new head, right? So that's why I want to update it as well. So what I want to do is I want to say that my new head, my new head is going to be nothing but now why I'm using a, a star head because in in the uh, in the parameters I've been given star star head, right? I've been given uh, two pointed head, right? So that's why. So what I'll do is I'll say that star head is gonna be nothing but the current. So that's uh, that's how I'm gonna update my head. And after this part is done, right? After this part is done. So what is the next thing that I require to do? Like let's say let's say this part is done, right? So uh, what happens? What happens next? So I will say that uh, my previous is pointing to this part, right? My previous uh, previous next is pointing to this variable. And what is happening? This zero zero gets eliminated, and this zero is pointing to where? This zero is pointing. That's this head gets removed, and this zero is the new head round. Right? This is the thing. Now I want I want my current right. I want my current to get updated. I want my current to point to this particular value. Right? I want my current to point to this particular value. Right? And how can I have this? So basically, what I can say is I can say that current the new current is going to be nothing but the next of the previous right previous next. And what is previous next? Previous next is nothing but three. So that's something that I'll do. So basically, I'll say that current. Now the current will get updated to nothing but the previous next, right? When the current gets updated to previous next, the so current points start pointing to three, and then this particular link list works like this, right? Then now you can say that two gets connected to this three kind of stuff, and I can keep on iterating through the link list until my until and unless. My current is equal to zero, right? Now there is one more thing, right? There is one more thing that I need to notice. Now you will say that uh, what if uh, what if my current data is uh, not equal to zero? So let's say if uh, this kind of a stuff was there, right? If suppose my uh, current is this variable and then I had three or whatever and I had the previous value, right? So if if it happens that my current that my current uh, is not equal to zero, current's data is not equal to zero, then in that case I can say that I will make this three as my current. So I'll shift my current by one. So uh, like what I will do first of all is I'll shift my previous and the current, right? So what I will say is I will say that uh, my previous uh, is uh, now updated to current. So I'll say else in the else part I'll say that now my previous will become the current, right? Because uh, because it should point to this two. So uh, this is where the previous should point. And this uh, in, uh, like this uh, current's next uh, <coughs> current will get updated to the current's next thing, right? So this is how it's gonna look like. Now you will say that uh, what uh, like we are starting from the beginning. And what if the like let's say if this was the case, right? Let's suppose this kind of a linked list was there. Uh, like let's suppose this kind of a linked list was there, and I'm I'm directly pointing my previous to this node and the uh, like uh, the current to this node, right? So now you'll say that what if the first node previous node is zero? So that's perfectly fine because you want to uh, directly you want the star zeros node to be at the starting, right? So that's perfectly fine. Let's suppose you keep on moving, 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 and then what you will have is your previous will point to this particular node, right? Let me change the color. So what will happen? Your previous is going to point to this node, and your current will be this node, right? So no, not uh, not this node. Sorry, zero zero node, right? Uh, yeah, this node. 
So what will happen? This uh, previous uh, next should point to this current next, right? So two should be pointing to three, and this zero, right? This zero. The current next should point to the uh, head, the head of the linked list, right? Because every time I'm, I'm updating my head, if I'm inserting zeros at the uh, end, right? So this particular zero, white zero, then what? Then this uh, ye yellow zero, then zero, one, then two, and then three, right? So this is where where my current is standing. So the, that is where the head should stand now. So head will uh, get updated to the current, but right, that is something that's going to happen. Apart from this, apart from this, as I told you that currently my previous is standing at this node. So I want to update my current node, right? So I can say that current will be equal to what previous next, right? So this is going to be the current node, right? Because current will become nothing but the previous next. Let's try and quickly implement this code and see whether it works or not. So in this particular question, you can see that I will be given double star head, right? So what I would be doing is I will simply check that if uh, like I will have the current node, I'll first of all have the current node and the previous node. So I'll say that node star uh, the previous node. Uh, previous node is equal to nothing but the star head. Why I'm using star head and not head because I've been given the double pointed head, right? Uh, two pointer, right? So that's why now I'll say that node star what uh, the current uh, current is going to be nothing but the uh, next of the head, right? It's going to be the second element of the linked list, right? So it's going to be nothing but heads next, right? It's going to be nothing but the heads next. Now once I've done this part, so what I'll do is I'll iterate until the current is null, right? So I'll say that while current is not equal to null, until my current is null, I'll be keeping on iterating uh, this particular linked list. And what I'll say is, if my current uh, data, if my current data is equal equal to zero, right? If the current data is equal to zero, in that case, what I will do? If the current data is equal to zero, then I told you that the previous next, right? I told you that the previous next should point to what the current next. So that's how I'm gonna uh, maintain the order of the non-zero element, right? And after this part is done, so I'll say that okay, the current next, right? The current next should point to what? Current next should point to the head of the linked list, right? Because uh, this particular uh, current is pointing to a zero, and it will uh, basically uh, start pointing. Uh, it will be the become the new head, right? So since it becomes the new head, so I need to update my head. So I need to say because I've inserted this zero at the beginning, right? I've changed the connection. So star head is equal to nothing but current because this is uh, the current is the new head now. And after this part is done, so I need to update my current as well, right? So the current should become worse. Current should become the previous next because the previous next is storing but nothing but the current next, right? That is a non-zero element, right? After this part is done, so in the else part, what I will say is in the else part. I'll simply uh, update, right? As I told you, that if if this if it's a non-zero element, so I'll keep on moving forward, right? So the previous is equal to the current element, and the current element is equal to current's next element, right? So this is how we are going to do it. Uh, let's try and quickly compile this particular code and see if it works on the samples. So it seems to work on the samples. Let's try and quickly submit it. So you can see that this problem got accepted, right? It has passed all the 100 test cases. So this is how you do this particular problem. Uh, one more thing that I would uh, like to say is that if you like the explanation of this video, so make sure to hit the like button and uh, subscribe the channel as well. And thanks a lot. Comment down understood as well. Comment down understood as well. If you understood the complete explanation. Thank you.